we have the privilege of gathering everyone together and, and truly having a very interactive forum, forum now in, in which to, 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 to discuss, to dialogue, and to stay connected to the arts. That's what accessibility is all about. It's a beautiful time to bring this great collection of work to you all. And um, we're just gonna take a meander through the gallery, starting from the front entrance and um, introduce you to a little bit more of the work. And um, for the artists that were able to join us this evening, we'll get a word or two in with them. And we invite your questions and comments. So please, you know, don't be shy, speak up, wave your hand. Um, leave us a, a comment or two in the chat box. We really look forward to this being a very interactive discussion. So, you know, let's, uh, let's join the party. Have a little fun. <laughs> so here we're going to start um, at the front of the gallery. We have um, a piece by Lauren Schneider, Mountain, Waters, Sky, Home. This is a mixed media collage, beautiful colors. Uh, again, very evocative of this theme of home, a sense of place. Lauren Schneider has been exhibiting with us. We have several pieces by her and um, Again, the color, the great saturation, the use of the mixed media, the texture, it's, uh, it's a wonderful piece and uh, it sits side by side a, a, a number of, of, of very complementary pieces, um, as you'll see. Collage, mixed media, certainly a continuing theme for the use of materials for many of the artists represented here tonight, and we'll talk more about that. The next piece that we're looking at is Karen Magnus, a watercolor. Magnuson. Magnuson, pardon me. Karen Magnuson, high on Lake County. This looks very dreamlike. Ginkgo leaves, houses, hills, and um, what looks like a really good night's rest flying above. <laughs> It's wonderful. So you know, I think Karen is actually here with us tonight. So we're super, super grateful to have her with us. Karen, would you um, like to join the conversation and say a few words about this, this watercolor, this particular piece, and what inspired your composition? Well, I was painting. Can you hear me? Yes. No. Hi. I was painting at a friend's house and she has a view of, of the nature reserve by Reeves. It's over by Kelseyville. And um, I just looked out the window. You could see Mount Kanak Tai. We were sitting on her porch and the leaves were falling on us, the ginkgo leaves and everything. And I just started to do a watercolor. And then I started thinking about the theme for home. So I added some houses and <laughs> I added myself. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I just had fun with it. But it's, it's really lovely. I, I, I think it would be a beautiful piece to have in a bedroom, actually, because it sort of sets the mood. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your artistic background and, um, you know, some of the inspirations that, that uh, find their way into your work? And, of course, the various mediums you like to use. Watercolor is, is so wonderful to work with. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your, your artistic journey. Well, I think that um, originally I, I was uh, interested in um, Jungian ideas, uh, philosophy and, and uh, psychology. And I, I really admire Carl Jung. And I, in a lot of my earlier work when I was in college, um, I tried to have shapes that that were um, evocative of the collective unconscious or forms like Plato's forms or something. So I, I'm I'm into shapes a lot and uh, and I I've always just had a knack for water watercolors, but I don't I don't really like to do them. <laughs> But they're easy to carry around, and uh, so there I was. I was painting, and uh, I seem to 
have fun with them. But I I'm originally was a printmaker and I showed at Fort Mason, printmakers there and uh, wonderful. But up here, it's it's not as easy to do the large work that I used to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the houses at the bottom, the row of them, that, that reminds me of San Francisco. Is, is, do you think that that's the inspiration or was it just sort of more of a iconic? Well, the other piece that I actually put in the show was, was a Victorian in San Francisco and I lived there for like 15, 20 years. Okay, right. And I'm, right. I'm from the Bay Area originally and, and I, I'm sort of a figurative, I like figurative work too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are those kind of um, iconic images of, of home. If you've grown up in the Bay Area, uh, Victorian architecture finds its way into many communities and of course it's such a part of the history here. I see that, I see that in the work. It's wonderful. Well, thanks Karen for being a part of this exhibit and um, I'm glad you liked it. Forward. Absolutely, we, we look forward to your future, your future work and seeing more of what you do. Thank you. So moving on, I actually produced this piece. In the creation of this piece, I used moss, wood, velvet, copper, and um, a, a wonderful um, metallic wallpaper. This was just my statement on home. It's uh, evocative of nature, which I think is so nourishing and important to our soul. Um, I love lighting. It's a big, big part of what I do um, and I think is important to our interiors, so essentially important to our interiors. Um, and for some reason, I am irresistibly drawn to moss. I, I think it's like, I, I call it the upholstery of the forest. <laughs> Mossy trees, um, moss growing on things. Moss is just one of the most wonderful, wonderful things. So anyway, that's my little statement on home. So uh, the next piece that we're going to see, really, really, really fun piece, Graham Lloyd, who's actually one of the Middletown Art Center board members. Graham Lloyd he has was. a wonderful influence to his work, great color. Um, this is acrylic on canvas, has, uh, <laughs> you know, a sense of home. It's, it's uh, just a little abstract. It's, it's a little otherworldly, the cat gazing at us all. Um, but I love the perspective, and, and I think this is an incredibly colorful and vibrant and, and lively piece. 